Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. In today's video, I'm gonna be answering a viewer question. Chuss, all the way from Spain, wrote, and he has some questions about the weather widget on the first generation Garmin Instinct, which is what I'm using. Now, I'm using the solar version. Shouldn't matter if you've got the solar or one of the non-solar versions. This video should work the same for everybody, as long as you've got the first generation. I have not used the second generation yet, and as of right now, I have no plans on getting the second generation, so this video will just be for you first generation users. What Chuss's question was is, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my weather widget. I've already got it installed, so I'm gonna press the down button. That will take me into it. Now, you know what some of these values are. This is your current temperature. This is your high temperature for the day, your low temperature for the day, your current weather conditions. Down here were the question values that Chuss had a question with. He wanted to know what does this percent value show? It's got a little raindrop. Basically, this is your chance of rain for the given day. Down here underneath that is showing your wind speed and your wind direction. So I've got five mile per hour winds from the north. Now, how do I know that it's miles per hour? I know that because of how I've got my watch set. What Chuss wanted to know being in Spain is he wanted to be able to change this to kilometers per hour and you can actually do that. I'm gonna show you how to do it on this watch. So before we go do that, one more thing is while you're in your weather widget, you can simply press the GPS button and you can look at the hourly forecast for the next four hours. So you can see in my case, here's going to be the temperature. I have a 0% chance of rain for the next four hours. And then this little indicator right here is going to be your weather condition for the next four hours. And then of course your time. If I press the down button, I can see the next four days, the high and low values, as well as the weather conditions. And then again, just the day listing of the week. So that's just a little bit of uh, FYI just to make sure you know it with the weather widget. But let's go ahead and press back. Remember, five mile, five mile per hour winds to the north is what I'm showing. Let's go and let's look at our settings. If you wanna change this to kilometers per hour, you can do that. It's basically reading your values from your pace units. So I'm gonna press and hold the menu button, and I'm gonna use the up or down button, and I'm gonna go to settings, press GPS to select settings. Again, I'm gonna use the up or down button, and I'm gonna go to system, press GPS to select system. We are going to go down to units, press GPS to select units. Your pace and speed units not only determines how you'll see your speed, let's say you're doing a biking uh, activity, something like that, it's also going to change your values for your weather widget. So I'm gonna change mine instead of in miles, I'm gonna press GPS, I'm gonna change it to kilometers. Now let's go back and let's look at the weather widget. Instead of five miles per hour to the north, now it's showing eight kilometers per hour to the north. I don't know why they don't give you that indication. I guess there's just an assumption that, you know, somebody like me here in the United States, the default is miles per hour, so that's what I'm interested in. If you're over in Europe, the default is kilometers per hour, so there's just kind of an assumption that you know that based on where you're at. But anyway, Chuss, I hope that helps. You've got your uh, rain chance and your miles per hour or kilometers per hour for wind and your direction, depending on how you have your watch set. As always, I hope this video helps. If you got any questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.